Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, I'm going to hit play, and it's just going to explain itself. Okay. Okay, they talk uh, about... They, they, they kind of get high on their own supply too much. Uh -huh. Um... Like we are, we are fifty nine minutes into this video, and it is still a hype, a hype uh, compilation of moment of truth clips <laughs> for episodes that have not aired at the point of like this airing. The only thing that separates a person from five hundred thousand dollars is twenty one questions, and their ability to answer each one of these questions with the truth, the whole truth. Nothing, nothing but the truth you no. tell him mark l Wahlberg, which is the name of this man if you're not familiar <laughs> no with him way. No way. yeah <laughs> so this i think he hosts like uh he's done a bunch of stuff like um looks familiar to me. antiques roadshow i think okay. and um something else but this is one of his you know one of the shows that cody co actually did an interview with him because apparently uh he knows kelsey's family um oh. And and they had him on, and he kind of ended up doing the show by accident because their previous oh Temptation Island that's the other thing he hosts. Ah. Um, the other person that was going to host the pilot dip dropped out, and so he just showed up to fill the spot, and then just ended up doing like two seasons of the show. <laughs> um, the show was canceled, but then like they had filmed a bunch of episodes. I don't Got know. it. They help us along just to know to expect true and false. In the yeah, episode. they're like, there's going to be truth. There's going to be falsehoods. <laughs> there's going to be just, but not even falsehoods. There's going to be false. False will, the, false will make an appearance. The show is <laughs> the most over dramatic. Like they will spend 30 seconds doing a dramatic build up to a inconsequent. Like, have you ever eaten a peanut butter and jelly sandwich without sharing it with your wife? And then it'll really just, they'll cut to a bunch of reaction shots that are clearly from like different parts of the show. And then you'll be the like, is, oh, sorry, oh, it'll be like, I haven't. And then everybody like breathes a sigh of relief. The audience claps. Uh, it looks very dealer no deal. Oh, for sure. Oh, this is a spoiler for last episode. Alright, let's get to the... Oh, this guy! Oh, my my chat might remember this guy. This guy is... Oh, I've watched this entire show six months ago, and then I deleted all the VODs, and now I'm re-watching them again, uh, uh, like Taylor's version style. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a ten minute... Uh, song cut of you and this guy. Yeah, me and Mark L. Wahlberg's uh, like <laughs> are the shit that we got Mark into. Yeah. <laughs> His first few questions were embarrassing, but then things got personal. You ever considered you might be a dick? Oh, they oh, they spoil fuck? they spoil the show constantly, and I'm like, okay. We are now three minutes and 50 seconds in to hyping up the episode that has not started yet. Oh, I see what you mean where it jumps around. Yeah, so it has to be playing. To... Got it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I don't, they, they probably explained his job, but I can't be bothered. As you are energetic, you should be just fine. <laughs> Feeling good? Feeling great. Let's get started. There are six levels of pressure, George. The further you go, the harder the pressure you get, the more money there is for you to win. I gotta put close. You can quit at any time. But yeah. once you hear a question, you have to answer that question. And if you're caught lying even once, yep, game is over, you lose everything. We kill you. Right. You're <laughs> shot actually on stage. In front of all of America. You're also telling it in front of your family and friends. Let's see who's come here tonight. Here, George, tell the truth. Hi, my name is Lily. I'm George's girlfriend. My name is Pedro. I'm um, Lily's uncle. I'm Mike. I'm George's boss. That makes no sense. What? Also, the way this guy is acting, I just don't 
trust him immediately. No, he just uh, feels very performative immediately. This guy, it, his episode gets weird. <laughs> like, That's exactly uh, it, what I love. That's what yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. I also just don't understand why the boss is there. Like, yeah, it, just to make it worse for him if he's lying, I guess. Where it's like every aspect of his life now can be in danger, pretty much. Right. This guy has Did taken. He choose to bring these people. I think he must have, right? And I assume that like they've they've um probably discussed some of the things that he must be like have been asked about but to bring your boss and your girlfriend seems like two giant swings yeah quickly lean forward hit this button if you do that i'll stop the question i won't let him answer we will replace that question with another question you can only use that button once though and you have no control over what the replacement question will be. Are you ready for this? Closed captioning is really struggling with this. Yeah, it, it always has a hard time. We've got seven truthful, four more, $25,000. Remember, with every question, you're risking the 10,000 you have. As soon as the question starts to be asked, that's when the risk begins, okay? That so, kind of looks like, uh, uh, go ahead. you know, in the episode of Always Sunny when Dennis uh, dyes his hair black. I haven't seen it, but. Um, H.E. because he wants to look like Superman. He looks like if Steve-O did that. Anyways. Uh, that <laughs> he like, does, like he does just... look like Steve-O. He does. He looks like Steve-O wearing a black toupee. <laughs> That's pretty much what he has. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he looks exactly like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Would you say that you go the extra mile for friends? Uh, Jarvis, the video sound is a little low. I tried turning up the video sound, but then you said Eddie and I were really quiet, so I'm trying it's, to balance it. Let me yeah, know. Yeah, I'm trying to find it, but the uh, uh, the mixing with the audience is so off. It, yeah, where... <laughs> you, yeah, the mixing in the show is god awful for the first few episodes. Yep, there's no question about it. Too much sometimes. Sometimes it gets me in trouble. What is that? Question eight. Have you ever helped someone smuggle something into the country? Oh, this this must have started in the previous. This must have started in the previous uh, episode. Okay. Um. Oh well. <laughs> Just want to remind you, you don't have to stick with your original polygraph answer. I like that they give the option to tell the truth. Yes. I have to know what. A yes, I feel like a yes or no is worse than knowing what it is. Okay, everybody said I True. was super loud, so I just turned myself very loud. Eight, three, three more twenty-five thousand dollars. When was this? Uh, yeah, it was, back, it was in Miami, and uh, not something I'm proud of. No, not something I'm proud of. But, uh, it certainly happened. Oh, so it was cocaine. Did it involve drugs? I think it it must have been. Uh, drugs, but I it must have been drugs. Sure you knew it. enough not to yeah, ask what it was. I knew enough not to ask what it was. Oh, we have dear. really just begun in the questioning, and we're revealing some very sensitive things. I so know. I want to caution you. That's sick. Yeah. You still have to answer three more personal questions to get to the next level. If you make a mistake between now and 11, you lose $10,000. What do you want to do? I definitely want to keep going. Okay. I know 2008 was a different time. I feel like keeping that answer vague is worse than anything because, like, it could be worse than drugs. Yeah. You know I what feel I mean? Like, like, this is like a objectively incriminating. Yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> I am doing the. This is like literally my hell. Is where like I am wildly varying my audio and it's like Jarvis you're way too loud. We can't hear anything. Jarvis now we can't hear you and everything. And I'm just like, dude, I don't yep. know what to do. I don't know yep, what to do. It's it's uh we're, we're it's, just gonna have to deal we're just gonna it's have a to battle deal. i always fight <laughs> well george half the battle is winning the money the other half is getting out of here with it Let's see if you can do that right after this we'll be right back also the music is mixed so high i know and the audience is so loud <laughs> All right, we just have Wait, to watch they, this. Yeah, they come back from commercial and promote other episodes. They promote other episodes. Oh my god! And they like, and if you don't want to know something about it, then it's like, yeah. Welcome back to Moment of Truth. We are here with George Porter. 
Salazar. What a great smile, great energy. Seems to be a great guy. You're doing great so far. Doing, I feel I'm you know, great. this episode actually I'm goes somewhere really nice, but yeah, now that we haven't seen the first know, half, gambling, whatever, you don't have the build up, the but <laughs> he had a gambling problem. Okay. And, uh, I thought she looked beautiful. Yeah, that's. I, I think that's all you need to know about him. Like, wow, I gotta, got I gotta it. Gotta get that girl's number, and uh, I got it. Question nine: Are you in love with your girlfriend, Lily? Damn! <laughs> oh my God! Please say yes. Oh, dude, Lily's like. Oh, oh You no. know it, baby. Oh, I really hope. Yeah. That smile's not a good sign. It's not the first question. We accidentally Definitely. went to the second half, Chad. Oh, Definitely, okay. yeah. Okay, good. That answer is... <sighs> True. Oh. Good. She, now she wouldn't cute. have deserved yeah. any moment of that. That's a nice Lily, you happy to hear that? Yes. How do you feel about him? He's the love of my life. Oh, that's nice. There, this show has very few, very sweet moments, but like uh, when they when they hit, they hit. Yeah. Before I met Lily, I was married to her. We were together for 18 years. My, uh, my wife actually left me for someone else, and and I really believed at that time that, that she was the love of my life, and I really did not think there's no way. I was gonna meet somebody else to love. The man, I just can't tell you how happy I am because truly much better. He's definitely loving my life. That's so sweet. I this you've come in on I I other than the fact that he like probably smuggled drugs illegally <laughs> across the border, I think that this guy has a really sweet uh arc. Yeah. Have you ever lied to Lily about how oh, well, yeah, he probably him? had to have. Oh no! Yeah. These questions aren't easy, are they? I feel like this one's kind of fucked up if he already <laughs> said he had a gambling addiction. Yeah, Question that 10. they do ask him some really Have hard ones for like his. Lied to Lily about how much money you've lost gambling. But also, she deserves to know as well. Yeah. And she deserves to know in front of Mark L. Wahlberg in a live studio audience. Yeah, of course, because that's the healthiest way to. That's have the any healthiest way to. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. True. Minimum, but sometimes I even lie to myself about how much money I lose. It's one of those things. I think that he's like very upfront about addiction too. Yeah, he's kind of just being like, "Yeah, I, I have a gambling addiction." We spoke about. We this spoke time. about this. Yeah, no, literally, this show is like, okay, so you have a problem, and then nine questions about how that problem has destroyed your life yeah. up to this point. They're like, "Have you ever?" Bet too much money on a poker game. Yeah. Do, you know, <laughs> due to your gambling addiction? And it's like, yeah, I thought we kind of discussed that I had a gambling problem before. Yeah. Disease. Uh, you mentioned you've been married for a long time. You, I think you mentioned you had kids as well. Yes. Three beautiful kids. You ready for question 11? Oh, God. Oh, okay. oh. This, okay, so Mark L. Wahlberg does this thing where uh, every time he's about to ask a question, he will go... Right, so you mentioned you like have a best friend, and it's like, yeah, best friend of my whole life. We've been friends for twenty years, and he's like, cool. Do you secretly fucking hate your best friend and want to kill him? <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, it's, he fully sets up for love. Just to, it seems a bit evil the way he said. Right, the kid <laughs> it really does. His tone is like it would be a shame if something were to happen to yeah. that relationship. I'm not gonna ask you question eleven. That question will be asked by a surprise guest. Don't make the kid ask it. Your son, Alex. <gasps> Dude! Oh, oh Alan's pretty old, though. I was just yeah, making like Alan's, a 10 year old boy. <laughs> Alan's pretty old. Also, sorry, I do have to back up. Did he yes. just phase? I feel like Alan just. Oh, I need to play the thing, like you said. Uh, he, like, phases into the, to the screen. I guess. Your see son, it. Alex. All the way to Miami. <laughs> like, was that not a magic trick? 
He fucking materializes. Him. I know, dude. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you do. There's only one question that's been bothering him for the last five years. We've beamed Matthew your son in. Yeah. From Miami. Well, ready to face it? I'm ready. Question oh. 11. Have you ever gambled away one of your children's common fun? Dude! I know. He should have been honest about this beforehand. Yeah. Part of me is like, they must know. The family must know, yeah. and he's just having to, like, embarrass himself in public. Yeah. I don't know what this lady text is gonna do, but I absolutely have never gambled away an account. That's not a good answer. I don't know what this lie detector is about to do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. It's never a good sign. Yeah, on a you, hey, uh, <laughs> hey, babe, do you love me? <laughs> Look, I uh, I don't know what this lie detector is about to do. <laughs> Imagine seeing that like a real interrogation thing. Right. I don't know about what this lie detector is about to do, but I have I, never murdered anyone. I've never murdered anyone, especially not this guy. <laughs> he looks nervous, too. I'd be surprised if this is anything but false. True. Whoa! I, I think... I have to reiterate, this is one of the few wholesome endings of an episode of Moment of Truth. I will say, I'm, I'm sure they're both very relieved to have that out in the air, but that is a bare minimum true. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. He's like, I've gambled literally everything else. Yeah. <laughs> now you're room and board, however. <laughs> you know, one of the best things for me to get on this show was that question. That question's been haunting my son for the last five years because he knows I'm a gambler. You know, there's times where where he's asked his mother for money and he's like, Dad, gambled away a, an account that was left for you. I'm so happy that I cleared that up. I love you. I mean, so like, thing, yeah, go ahead. Like, so, I mean, he didn't directly gamble away a fund, but right. I think you're to assume that his gambling allowed him to not save money for his son yeah, for college? Yeah, yeah. Because his son seemed like... Yeah, and also somebody just mentioned in my chat, so his mom lied then? <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> or, like, maybe they didn't have money from other things or something, and he's like, well, to be incredibly specific, I didn't gamble away the your college fund. Yeah, like, it still seems like a result... If his son is like, like, dad gambles away all the money we have, then he still couldn't afford to go to college. Right. And, right. And he loses a lot of money. So yeah, it's again, like there wasn't an account. It sounds like, yeah. but I don't know. It just seems way too complicated for the like, I oh, agree. Good. Now that we, it doesn't the fit it. Yeah. Every, everyone in the audience is clapping, but they don't know why they're just like, I guess they're hugging. So this must be good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, the, the, a lot of, like you know how cynical people will be like well everything in the show is fake and stuff like this right. is like i'm like it just seems do you know how hard it would be to like stage every element of this yeah <laughs> we, I, we talk about fake content and i'm not saying like we know all for it and i think most people can tell like that did seem like a real kind of genuine moment that are that just seemed a little too real and a little right. too like, like why would he say the interview? reason i wanted to come on here is to like be able to like you know, be able to say, you know, yeah. to a big audience, this big grand gesture of like, I did, I'm turned my life around. I've not done this. Yada, yada. And usually, yeah, usually these moments are more like, you know, the fake reality show, especially in 2008 was just like uh, military homecomings and stuff, you yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah. Just, it wasn't exactly like, let's, it seems really specific. Yeah. Now, I, I don't, I'm not saying I trust the whole show, but that moment right. did seem pretty real. Well, I, I mean, I think of it's like, it's like bachelor rules. It's like that. You probably know a bunch of stuff. Like you probably know yeah. ahead of time what's going to happen or, you know, like maybe the sun showing up wasn't a surprise. Like, uh, yeah. Hey dad, I'm, uh, I'm coming to LA. I'll t you'll find out why very soon yep. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to coincide with, Oh wait, that's the same day I'm filming the TV show. <laughs> um, Weird coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, you won $25,000. Give it to your son for school. 
Wow. And this really hits home. Eddie, can we get a pronoun check for you? The chat, the I mean, chat wants to know. Uh, he, him. The one thing I will Let's... say about you in the short yeah, time. Yeah, okay, we got it. We, we got him, boys. <laughs> <honest guy. laughs> I, I've often felt my life's an open book, pretty much uh, honest with people about the way I feel and things I've done. I see that. Listen, George, you need to answer four more questions truthfully to get to $100,000. I know the gambler and you're going to say, I can do this. Let's do it. I was Let about to say the whole show, once they started displaying the money in front of him, I'm like, I don't know if this is good for him. Right. Like I, I want him to make money, but it's very much like a public game that he's like gambling. I, yeah. Kind of parts of his life away with the, you know, I just, yeah. Feels, I'm with you. I, I Yeah. <laughs> I I'm don't like, is he, is he doing it as a challenge right to himself? Like, Right. I it wanna... just feels like a non-healthy way to treat this. Right. It's a uh, it, yeah, you invite the gambling addict onto a gambling game show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now let's uh, spin right. to win. <laughs> deal or no deal would I think be the oh, best God. Use for him. Oh god. Yeah, no. that, would, that would not yeah. be good. I mean, I'm sure they actually they had gambling addicts probably on deal or no deal oh, without yeah. asking about it. Yeah. All right, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, imagine how sad it would be if like there was no emotional catharsis with him and his family and him conquering his uh gambling addiction and instead he just like mentions that he's addicted to gambling casually during a gambling game. That would not be very cool. Yeah, no, it would not at all. Is this the time it's time to walk away from the table? What do you want to do? If I were to go to the 100,000 lose and go home with zero that last question, I feel like such a winner. Wait, this seems you, positive. That's a good what? point. <laughs> so, good point. We're going for the like $3,000. Okay. His, is his son like, don't do it? Let's see how he does. I don't know. Is worth it? We'll find out right after this. He just said, is this gamble worth it? Whoa, yo. Yeah, I, I, they, they really do take any anything that you identify as a character flaw in yourself and then base the entire line of questioning around it. Uh-huh. Welcome back to the moment of truth. I'm here with George Orton. Oh, also my chat was asking for pronoun George. check for you. Uh, he, him, for me. Truthful man, you have earned $25,000. You've answered all 11 questions I've asked you. That's more than halfway to $500,000. Okay. You said you want to go for hundred thousand dollars. I jokingly, but not so jokingly, said I'm not surprised that you would roll the dice on me. Dude, uh, hey, Marky Mark L. <laughs> Big money, you spend it. The other Marky Mark. I'm money. never watching yeah. Ted L2 again. <laughs> God damn, yeah. <laughs> or any of those other the you happening, the L happening. Trust you. Deep you water L play. horizon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, I missed the question. Oh yeah, I saw that shit. Uh, okay, wait, what? You'd spend it. Yeah. I'd spend a lot of it, yeah. Yeah? Spend a lot of it. Question 12. Do you think your best friend could trust you <sighs> with his life savings? I hope at this point it's true for him. I. Why again is the boss here? <laughs> I forgot he <laughs> no. was there. No. I mean, the guy knows himself. I uh, think that's yeah. That's True. That's twelve. So, you know, you're an imperfect. <laughs> you know who you are. Did you see the captions? <laughs> I did not. No, I saw earlier where you trust with a lightsaber. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you're would, you yeah. would you trust your best friend with his light, with My his lightsaber? Is no. <laughs> yeah. I cut him in half. I unfortunately, you, you cannot trust me with a lightsaber. You have $25,000. I feel great. Should we go with another question? I'm as nervous as I've been since I've been sitting here. Uh, but uh, I'm definitely going for it. <laughs> Lily says go for it. We can go for it. <laughs> Even when we're talking about very sensitive, very revealing things, you seem upbeat and friendly. Are you friendly and like this? With He's on TV, body? Mark. I'm I know. Friendly, man. I'm, I'm actually very, very, very friendly. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Question 13. Uh oh, yeah. Where's this going? Have you ever made a Yo! Oh! Oh! This is This is more typical moment of truth. 
Because they want to get cheating because it's easy. Oh, oh easy, yeah. I want to know. I, I want to know for her too. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I just want to quickly address something while he waits uh -huh. to answer this. So the most famous episode of Moment of Truth is episode five, and it's the one like with the divorce or with the no with the uh, the the I guess it's a married couple and uh -huh. the the old ex like comes out and all that stuff like that that episode the the couple was like they they already kind of knew what was going to happen and and the guy was informed so like the whole meme okay. became like this dude you know had his whole life like ruined in front of his eyes for this TV show but he like was already aware of it and they they're they're still together as of I don't know 2009 2010 oh okay um, and and so because of that I think that everybody got the perspective that everything was fake um, okay yeah, but this one feels pretty real, especially the things that he's saying are yeah, true. Yeah, I just – it's just there's also, so many things that don't make sense. Like why would they fake so many of these – like why bring the boss there? Yeah. Why make it so such a strange assortment of characters? I know. Also, somebody said what is make a pass, like flirt or fully proposition? I would argue either of those would be unacceptable, but right. I'm assuming make a pass is probably – if it was like on the flirting end, at least suggestive of something, you know, yeah. like, but make a pass, like it doesn't have to be exactly a proposition for cheating, but like making a pass would be at least enough of a flirt to suggest that you would do something if you could. Right. So like, if this is true, oh God. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then we, we got to go back to his love question and be like, we got to dissect some things for right, your Right, right. <laughs> I wish they could, yeah, they could go back to a previous question. All right, would you ever make a pass on one of Lily's friends? Yeah. Oh! oh it's over! Buddy it's boy! Over. Buddy it's boy! Over. No, it's I forgot about this. True. Oh! oh. Yeah. We got the <laughs> truthful answers. Oh, no, we, we were rooting for you. It was early on in our relationship. Early on. Uh, so she probably already knows about it. These things happen. Dude. <laughs> he heard it. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. Because she was fine. She seemed to want this question to be asked, right? Mm. I would guess. Because do they suggest questions? It seems like it, right? Like, I think so. Because it's like you have to have the questions come from like an inside source. My guess is, assuming this is real, because it honestly seems kind of real for, for right, this guy. Right, right, right. Is that... Um, he, you know, was he's already in a point where he knows he like has to be truthful. My guess is behind the scenes, her, Lily's friend said something to her about it, and he lied about it. And then she's like, "This show is the perfect opportunity to clear the air about that's, this." That's that's exactly the kind of thing that I think. That's what I think too. Uh, yeah. Un unless it's like a conversation that they had, and they left it in like some sort of gray area where she yeah. like believed him. But she like didn't believe believe him, you know what I right, mean? Right, right. And they kept digging at her. Probably. Because yeah. I think if if I had something like maybe you've like made your piece about something, but if given the chance to do a polygraph, you're like, well, let's see what the polygraph says. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can totally yep. imagine that. Even though it's like not real science. Well, funny, no, right. I yeah. Didn't think she knew about that. Uh, oh, she said she gonna... didn't know about. That. <laughs> They're getting. You mean it gets worse? <laughs> You've an you've seen that you've answered <laughs> these questions poker, right? before. Poker, yeah. The key to a good poker player is laying down the good hand. Laying down the good hand, right? Stop relating it to his gambling card? addiction. Yeah, like <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like a fun theme for him. Uh, yeah, and like uh, much like in a in a gambling scenario, you're all in on this game, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's like you flirted with one of her friends, but you know, as gambling addicts say, what happens in Vegas? Am I right? Anyways, <laughs> right. question fourteen. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, uh, it it looks like you're about to bet the house on the pony, so to speak, <laughs> quite literally. <laughs> You think you're lucky to have Lily in your life? Absolutely, ridiculously lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just love the lead-ins to the questions. They're always so. Uh, <laughs> Are you think you're lucky to have Lily in your life? 
oh my god she's the love of my life Bong! It's like, well, you never heard her that. is what you're saying yeah you, you never i don't know try to hit her with her car when she wasn't paying attention let's get to question 14 <laughs> have you will you have you ever considered hitting lily with your car <laughs> would you break up with lily oh no if your ex-wife wanted to get back together with oh Button there. We'll touch the button. We'll get rid of this question. Oh yeah, there's a button in. where they can replace a question, but I, it's the a button useless... would answer the question. Yeah, it answers the question, so like it's almost never pressed. No. What about Lily's friend, you <laughs> dick? <laughs> yeah, who we brought out as a special guest it's from Miami. Oh. Aww. She's like, oh, the bare minimum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the bare minimum. 14 truthful answers. I was worried about that. Early on in our relationship, I would have gone back with her. I, I, I honestly believe that. And the last. Like, I didn't know I could click and drag the captions. Somebody just told me that for the first time. Oh, my! I uh, I do it sometimes, and it every every, every time there's someone in my chat who's like mind is blown. Yeah, I could, I was blocking it with my body. I would have done it earlier. Fourteen truthful answers. One more question. One more question. The worst part comes after the show when they're in the car and she's right like, so. on the way home. <laughs> the last time I'm gonna ask. I don't want to stop. The son is like, Dad, do you think you could take me to the airport? <laughs> this is your $100,000 moment of truth. Oh, my God. Bow. Question 15. Have you ever stolen money from a job and let someone else If this plane? is true, there's a surprising amount of stealing money. Oh, it's true. He's, but the thing is, it could have been when he was younger and like extra gambling addicted. But his yeah. boss is there, so maybe that's why. Yeah. My answer is yes. Let's let him explain himself. Maybe it has to do with the deep point of his addiction. That answer is. <laughs> but he let someone True. else take the fall. <laughs> boss is just like whispers, "You're fired." <laughs> Yeah. Is it his current job? Yes. Yeah, he has a kid. Oh, he's like an ex I sell a hot dog, yeah. you know, a dollar, whatever it was. And then uh, I was like, I didn't ring it up. And I just need a dollar. It went on for you know, like three or four weeks. The boss calls all of the employees that work at the snack bar in a line. He lines all up and he goes, one of you has been charging people for hot dogs and keeping the money and not putting it in the This guy's right not an actor. <laughs> And it was Charlie! Like, what? Charlie! <laughs> like, I got a cue for feeling out fast, like, you never know who's watching. I have a feeling we could be here all night and hear more stories. <laughs> it feel this like guy's so. so it's so. It's still, it's still bad. Yeah. And like fucked up, but I was picturing more. He worked like, like a corporate like job a corporate and like job. stole a ton of money. It doesn't make him good. He let someone else take the fall and still yeah, is it's, not really it's, ashamed in the story at all. Yeah. He thinks it's like hilarious. I do think that like uh, my favorite dichotomy in this show is when someone admits to doing something horrible and the audience claps because yeah, they continue <laughs> going in the thing. And everybody's like, yeah, I think yes. like cool. <laughs> I hope, I guess. I yeah, guess he was, you could tell that's a fun story he's been telling people forever. And, oh, you know, yeah. like some people at the party when he tells it go into the car after and are like, that was kind of fucked up, right? Yeah. That story that he told seemed like a fucked yeah. up thing to do. And poor Charlie, we know him. <laughs> you know, it's like he's around. <laughs> yeah. Let him take the fall. He really had to, it took him a while to bounce back from that, actually. <laughs> yeah, it was actually the worst <laughs> moment of his life. Oh, my God. Poor Charlie. It happened to me time and time again. That's why I asked the question, George. And I feel stupid. Now, $25,000, you gave me the justification that just hearing the vindication of the question about the college fund was worth it. If you lost it, that was worth it. $100,000 is a lot of money. There's no shame in walking out with $100,000. How far are you going to go? We'll have to wait and find out right after this. Uh, 
bring it back. Oh. Later tonight. Oh, yeah. The... Oh, this poor girl. Whenever... Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. Need, need, need I say more about uh, <laughs> the, the questions that they ask women and do not ask men on this show? Yeah. On your wedding night, have you ever taken a nude picture of yourself? Have you ever forced... Jesus Christ, oh, dude. This is why, and real quick, sorry, this is yeah. a talking point of, of even my uh, kind of Glee video as well, uh, is that I tried it for, for people that are a bit younger than us. It's like, you got to realize, like, even though it doesn't feel that long ago, 2008 was such a even wildly different yeah. time with what we saw on TV. Like, it was so, I can't yeah. stress enough. Every time I look back I, on like content that we were exposed to, I'm like, Jesus it's, Christ, dude. It's unreal. It is unreal. Yep. Also, like that, I forgot about that. Like some of these questions we skip past because it's, uh, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> uh, no need to to savor that moment. But. Yep. Moment of truth. I'm here with George Ordazar. We've learned a lot about George. The one thing is, he's a a truthful man. You've answered 15 truthfully. I'm really, really, really thrilled that you survived your one hundred thousand dollars. You're a truthful man. You've done some shit, but, but at least you've admitted to three more questions yeah. to get to two hundred thousand dollars. We've got some love for the Glee vid video in the chat. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Thank you, guys. Oh my, my loving father, I adore you with every ounce of my heart unconditionally. You could be a degenerate gambler for the rest of your life, but if you take this $100,000, you're going to be a moron for the rest of your life. God damn. You that was like, really? I'm a, I still love you. I still a little bit of respect because then the gambling got busted because you're gambling again. Damn. Damn. Son is dragging. Oh, wait, no, I get what he's saying. I thought he was telling him to go for more. Yeah, no, it I, was I, a little I, bit misleading. This is a big moment for him. I'm glad that, that he said that. I have gambled away so much money in my life. You have gambled away so much gambled money. Gambled away a lot of money in my life. Yes. It's a lot of money. Yes, it is. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of People money. call those investments now. Yep. He's like, I've owned a lot of NFTs in my day. <laughs> what are you going to do? I, I'm going to take the money. That's a big moment for him as well. I thought so too. I think that's good. He gets to have a nice little moment with his son. Uh -huh. Who's materialized in from Miami. There's no shame in taking money. Your position, given what you've shared, this is a huge victory for you. Congratulations. One of the very few redeeming moments in this entire show, I promise yeah. you. Because literally, it's like coming up, and it's like, <laughs> would you slut shame, slut shame, slut shame, slut shame question? And it's like, oh god. <laughs> for once in his life, Mark, you don't know him. Mark, you don't know him. Mark. A 22 year old medical student. Oh no, this is gonna not, not be good. They also give people the like true crime documentary edit when they're introducing them. <laughs> she was asked over 50 questions by our polygraph examiner. And she's wanted for murder in 30 states. <laughs> <laughs> we did not ask her about it because we are not interested. Yeah. Yeah, we're not in we'd rather <laughs> we want to talk about her personal who she's questions with. about her body, yeah. <laughs> They're like, Christine, what is your body count? Not for the murders. <laughs> oh, yeah, but the other one. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. How are you feeling? I'm excited. I'm so happy to be here. Are you going to be able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Very confident. He's got a good attitude about this whole thing. There are six levels of questions. Yeah. The further you go, the harder the question. Mm -hmm. However, the more money you can win, you can see right there. Small nitpick. Why is it a pyramid while the money gets bigger toward the tip? <laughs> Dude, you fucking got him. If you thought lying even once, you lose everything, the game is over. That's right. Use your way to say it. Now, Christy, you're not only telling the truth in front of all of America, you are also telling it in front of your family and friends. Let's see who's come here. Tonight. Now I can't stop thinking here about the information Christy. visualizations on this fucking yeah. game My show. Name is Nelly, and I'm Christy's mom. My name is Melissa, and I'm Christy's little sister. I'm Cole. I'm Christy's friend. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I fully expected He's Cole to be like, I'm Cole, and I'm also here. <laughs> I'm here as yeah. well. No I relation, just, I, actually. 
I have to imagine if Cole's there, there's some kind of question of romantically between them, something yeah, they're going to ask, especially sure. about just <laughs> the, I, I never would just assume that out of two friends, but he said friend in such a pained oh, way. <laughs> there's one episode where they edit it in such a strange way. Like this woman is never introduced. Like they skip past her introduction. Uh-huh. And, um, and then later there's like this, it's like this weird talk about like whether or not they're dating or not. It, mm. They they do some weird stuff with the editing. I will say that. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready, Christy? Oh yeah. Let's begin. Definitely. Oh yeah. Uh, like trigger warning for eating disorders on this one. Uh, even though we're gonna skip past the question, um, you know, just just. I'm, I'm sure Mark will bring it up before a question. Yeah. Level one has six questions. Answer all six of them truthfully. You'll win the numbers get bigger. As <laughs> the numbers get Remember, bigger. <laughs> Think of it like, um, hmm, like a wrong pyramid. <laughs> Think, <of it. laughs> Think uh, about a pyramid, but incorrectly. <laughs> yeah. Um, One of the answers that you gave on your polygraph exam, mm-hmm. you can change them tonight. Just let me know. Okay. Before we get started with the first question, we'll find out a little bit about you. Okay. You want to go to medical school? I'm studying for my test right now and hopefully we'll be in medical school next year. Question one. <laughs> Did you ever cheat on a college exam? I don't, that's not an ooh. You can yeah. say yes, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, on a no, college I've exam a college. once? I've never cheated on a Oh, I guess exam is yeah, different than like a true. homework quiz or something, <laughs> like. Yeah. True. true. I feel it could be a it could be a uh, it could be a take home test, you know. Yeah, that's the thing. But if I she, because she said she's home. hoping to go to medical school, right? Like right. next the next semester, or like she yeah. got in, but she. So it's like she's not cheating on the doctor stuff. If she was yeah. like, I was in a health class once. Yeah. I, for gen eds, I had to take a health class in community college. How weird is that? Mm, that's like he, like a I, high school I, one. I will say we had a one health class in our gen ed at at, at my college too. But I was just thinking, like, why am I exactly here learning the same thing I learned in high school health? Yeah, I didn't take a high school health class, which is oh, it was required. That was one of the required ones for for high school. I think that's a, that's a good thing. That's a good yeah. In my sweat, only studying from morning till night. Were you good? <laughs> Cole reaction shot for no so. reason. I'd like to think of myself. What's your mom? Surface. Question two. <laughs> the Have fucking you ever noise. Stolen money from your parents. They word that they word that in such a accusatory way, but I feel like that's yeah. got to be really common amongst like. Again, you know, like if you're twelve and it's five, like I didn't do it, but I if somebody took like five dollars from like somebody's purse when they're right. a kid or a countertop like, or something. Yeah. yeah, stolen money from your the, 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 at least they get to explain themselves afterwards, which yeah, is good, yeah. you know. Yeah, I grabbed a quarter. It could be I grabbed a quarter from my mom's yeah. purse to get a get a get a soda when I was five. (laughs) No, I've never stolen money from my parents. That answer is... I think they're trying to build her up. There's like, oh, she's such a good girl. Well, why, uh... Why have you had sex before? Why have you had... You're gonna be a virgin forever, right? (laughs) A little, a little. Are you and Melissa close? We are extremely close. She's my best friend. We know everything about each other. She's like falling right into his trap. (laughs) Yeah. Do you think you're better? God damn it, Mark. God damn it, Mark. What the hell? That's not going to help anybody. Yeah. Melissa's always been the pretty one. Got all the attention because of her look. Every sister's like, excuse? I have always thought of myself as more pretty than her. <laughs> Aww. Oh. She answered that without <laughs> hesitation. <laughs> you can think whatever you like. <laughs> you can think whatever you like. So your answer is yeah. yes. Yeah. That answer is true. Also, question three. You know, they're like. You're going to be a doctor. 
do you think you're prettier than your sister? <laughs> like, yeah. fuck off, dude. Oh, oh man. Uh, in the wild, thank you for the gift. Three people answer for the way to $10,000. Right. Want to hang out with your family for a minute, right. that's okay. She's doing great so far. How are you feeling right now? I'm just happy for her. She's doing fine and she's excited. I just want to let Aww. you know yes. that the further we get towards bigger money, questions are going to be very, very, very personal. And the okay. pyramid will get While much smaller. <laughs> because you're close to her, undeniably, you're going to be involved. If at any point... <laughs> the mom was about to frown, they cut away. That you really oh, I didn't catch this before. I actually answer. like this, that they give Reach the family and button. friends an option to deny a question. Right. But that, the question that they replace that it with question. is always and just like, just as bad. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a replacement. Yeah, they should be able to just cancel the question yeah. for at least one. Button. Yeah. Doesn't mean you've necessarily helped her. All that means is we will replace that question with another question. I can't guarantee that that question is going to be any easier I love for her the answer. I love the okay? cold reaction shots. I don't know what uh, this man is adding. You have a good relationship with your daughter. But he has the... I don't know. So. They're just making sure he's involved. <laughs> he's just nervous, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it, in a way of, like, he's nervous to what he'll find today. Right. Very close. Question four. Every single time. Do you believe your mother What the fuck, dude? Oh, come on, dude. Fuck the show for us. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, I no. love the mom is so like good though. This she is the easiest question ever. She, I mean, it's a fucked up question, but like the mom gives me hope for our humanity yeah. and how she reacts yeah. to it. And even the audience reaction sucks. Like her mom's trying to get them out of this. Yeah. Fuck the show for doing that. Though. Oh, fuck the show for sure. True. Dude, this mom is so sweet. Thank you so much. Bad, funny, and 50, remember? She's fun. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of good... I mean, well, I there's some good you, moms. I, I, I could yeah. for fun. The other things I'm not so sure of. You have four crucial answers. Two more, you have $10,000. That All makes right. a lot more fun. All right. What's the longest relationship you've ever been in? I dated in the sky for two years. Dated in the sky. Well, did it in the sky. I dated in the sky. <laughs> Are you, how can you be a virgin if you did it in the sky? Would you be upset if your younger sister got married before you I hope this is a no. Oh. I, I can understand it being a yes, depending on like what the cultural expectation, you know, you can feel pressures from anywhere. Yeah, right? true. I would say yes. I would say it would be difficult. That answer is. Because she's young, younger, and I, I guess that probably has something to do also, with Also, pressures in 2008 were different, too. Like, True. Oh, it wouldn't bother me. I'd be happy for you. She never... She always oh. told you no. Yeah, she's like, oh, it, it wouldn't bother me at all. I love you so much, and I want the best for you. And oh. Yeah. Well, I do love her, and I do want her to be happy. I mean, if she got made before me, I would still support her, but it would... I mean, picturing myself as her bridesmaid first or her maid of honor. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't but, but there. But yeah, we can't ignore the outward pressure from the people oh, in her for life. Sure. That might, yeah, I bet you know, like uh, I get that question with relatives. You know, it's like, oh, when are you gonna settle down? Right. And especially if there's somebody to compare you to. Oh, I could not. Yeah. No, no, not now. We're going to keep going for the 10000 Okay. Would you say you're an old-fashioned uh, girl when it comes to dating? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I guess like the general stereotype in old fashion because I would classify so myself as that. Question six. Oh, we know what this question is going to be. Someone in my chat, I want to point this out, said uh, she also said that her sister was prettier and got more attention, so it could be an inferiority thing. Yeah, 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 I can see that. Poor, I mean, like that stinks. I, it's a bummer. Yeah, that she, she like might feel that way. For ten thousand, especially that she told her sister like it was totally cool, yeah. and her sister had to but find out. That on part, TV. I, I would say that part I relate to because sometimes like I want to. I, I want like I may feel a certain way and then outwardly I'm like no I'm fine because I like want to process it on my own like right, I don't right, I don't right. want to identify as somebody who's jealous of my friend or my sibling uh -huh. you know what I mean so yeah, I, I can yeah. I can get it in that way also oh no plan on being a virgin please just say no please just say no I I yeah whatever she says is valid why are they asking this question. Oh, come on. Is she a virgin or not? <laughs>
yeah, find out. Find out. After yeah. This message from Cheerios. <laughs> we've all been, we've all been wondering for the past three minute commercial break whether or not this <laughs> fine young lady is a virgin. Somebody Tonight, in America at the time was pacing, like, <laughs> yeah, they're like, I gotta fucking know. Just, please be. <laughs> it was like this and like what the island is on Lost, where the two questions <laughs> keeping them up <laughs> yeah. at night. I'm sitting across from the very lovely Christy Youssef, one of the prettiest smiles oh, I've ever thank seen. Thank you, thank you so much. Mark. And right before we went to commercial, we asked you, do you plan on being a virgin <laughs> on your wedding night? What's your answer? Yes, I do. I do plan on, on Go on. being a virgin on my, on my wedding night. That answer is... <laughs> Why did they do that? The cold shot. The cold shot was so weird. Well, for sure that's from something else. Yeah. Ten thousand dollars is yours. It's your money to keep if you would like to keep it. The next uh, level. Thanks so much, the Maggie. Twenty-five thousand dollars. To do that, you only have to be truthful. On five more questions. That's so many questions, though, but Mark. Yeah. Thousand dollars is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Should you keep the money right now, or do you want to go for twenty-five thousand dollars? You know what? I feel like we're so too far. Thank you. We're going. We're going. We're going. All right. We'll do that. Talk about preparing possible medical school down mm -hmm. the road. Do you have much time for friends? I like to imagine I do. <laughs> I'm really busy doing doing my stuff. So, I mean, I need friends. It's like a downtime. Question seven. <laughs> we'll see if you need friends after this. Are you more comfortable yeah. around friends that you know are not as attractive as you are? Oh, why do they gotta do this like mean girl shit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like, yes. I look at Cole. Really <laughs> Not Every insulting Cole. Cole, shot is just, Cole just like looking <laughs> down. I have to say yes. I do. That answer is. Cole. True. This. I don't know what, like. I don't know what these Cole reactions are. Because it doesn't seem like yeah. he's actually. Well, that, that's actually from that moment. Yeah. Four more. Could be just a moment where nothing's happening and he's you're just looking. Girl. Yeah, um, and they just keep cutting back to in, it. I could notice as you're walking, you have the walk of a woman uh, with uh, a beauty pen. Okay, I was like, oh, what are you gonna say? Okay, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! You have the walk of a woman. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. Have you ever had a cosmetic procedure to enhance your looks? Okay, dude. I feel like they would know. Nobody knows this, but now I guess everybody in the world will what? be knowing this. But yes, <laughs> I have. I have. Yeah. Fuck yeah. the audience reaction. <laughs> yeah, the audience reaction is, how dare you? <gasps> what? We're from 2008. <laughs> True. I also just can't trust like the audience noise too. Like, I feel like yeah. there it's like uh, it could be any un noise. It could be any yeah. noise. Yeah. I'm not gonna answer You're that not one. Gonna <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm not answering that one. You don't have to answer that one. You have eight truthful answers. All right. Three more, twenty-five thousand dollars. Are you a jealous person? No, I no, I wouldn't say I'm a jealous person. Question nine. Wait. Have you ever been upset Wait, by your sister Melissa? When did they just ask if she was a jealous person? And then she I said, didn't have captions for it. Yeah, I, I, because so. I'm like, no offense or anything, but like, one's to assume that they've kind of already asked that question. Yeah. Um, also, this seems the goal to be to like drive a wedge between her and her sister rather <laughs> yeah. than just get her caught on things. But right, uh, right, yeah, they're like, her sister's like, why do I keep being brought into this? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, Question wait. Nine. The captain control. You want to tell us what you had done? <laughs> I'm not going to answer Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, Mark. I'm telling you right now, I'm not answering that one. You don't have to answer that one. You have eight truthful answers. All right. Three more, $25,000. Are you jealous, person? 
No, I no, I wouldn't get any calls for this. The captain just didn't show up for that. Yeah, but he she he did ask that. Yeah. Have you ever been upset by your sister Melissa winning a beauty pageant? Wow. Well, Melissa did win a couple a couple pageants. There was uh, two pageants we competed against each other in. One of them she did win, and I didn't even place in the court. I'd been doing them for years. Oh. The um, question is just if she was upset, was right? Yeah. Like, I was. I was upset when she. Had I could see how that would sting. Answers. Yeah, for okay. sure. I mean, these like, are like human she directly, emotions. Yeah, she didn't directly say I was mad she won, sure, but yeah. she was hurt. She didn't even place, and her sister yeah. won, and she said her sister got all the attention growing up. And I think like, that's I mean, hard. That's uh, that's. I think that can be a hard thing to to deal. With. Yeah. <laughs> Upset, but wasn't jealous. Okay, cool. No, no, no. I mean, upset, not that I either, she could have any emotion. In response he kind of knocked this. down what he, like, the kind of narrative he was queuing up for her, which yeah, I think was yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. Also, any emotion in response to this is totally normal and valid. I, yeah. I do want to say, yeah. but yeah. I don't know why they feel like they need to pin her on a specific Yeah. Like, <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't. Would you like to hear question 10? I'm ready for it. Let's bring it on. Okay. Oh, we're going to hit Question a cliffhanger. 10, I'm not going to read. We have a guest. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss California 2006. Oh, this is actually kind of kind of wild. Hello, Jasmine. Hi. Did she beat her? Yeah. I think so. She's competed against how many? Two years. Romney? The caption said yeah. <laughs> they competed, competed against, against Romney, Romney in Miss California. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy shit. He's oh, stiff competition. <laughs> Have you ever tried to sabotage another pageant contestant? Whoa! This is not, that's not the real, I, I can never, uh, okay. So I guess, I suppose we've got to, uh, we've got to find out where this goes. Yeah. All right. Last week we were at question 10 when we ran out of time. So let's bring back Miss California 2006, Jacqueline Fontaine. Tell like that, Jacqueline. she like literally just like left five minutes, two minutes after walking yeah. out of stage. <laughs> ever tried to sabotage another pageant contestant or me specifically yep. <laughs> no i would i would i haven't sabotaged anyone in regards to a competition okay in regards to a competition yeah <laughs> and it's just <laughs> When it comes to competitions i don't sabotage when it comes to my uh nemesis <laughs> $25,000 and Jacqueline, thank you so much for being here. If you'd like to stay, we'd love to have you join them on the couch. I would what? be more than happy to go over That's so odd. <laughs> yeah, why does she get to be there permanently? She's not I, close to yeah, her at all. Yeah, yeah. like you're just an acquaintance at best. Ten yeah. Answers. You have been doing great. One she wasn't even sure how often they've competed against each other. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you have to be truthful and if all you're right. not, you lose the 10000 Okay. You want to stop now, or do you want the 11? We're one question away from twenty-five thousand dollars. There's no way I'm stopping. Right one now. tiny little I question. Cole, question. Cole, question. Question eleven. Oh my God, we got to talk about Cole. Have you ever secretly been attracted to one of your sister's boyfriends? Dude, they are driving that wedge. I know. There was. A boyfriend <laughs> um, that every time he did come over, he was very attractive and very good looking. Okay. And so I would say yes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that that crazy. Answer. I mean, she got set up with a question that, like, you know, like. Yeah. Also, like, you can't really control whether or not you're attracted to someone. It's really like yeah. how you behave, you know, oh, like. like it's pretty much asking, like, do you think your sister has dated an attractive person ever? Right. Pretty much yeah, is that exactly. question. And it's like, yeah, okay, sure. I Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. True. As if she, like, I they, re, they respond as if she could, like, control that. Yeah. Thank 
thanks for coming, like coming clean about finding a person yeah. attractive. <laughs> get to the next level <laughs> and not at all fake money <laughs> four questions yeah i'm looking at question 12 right now. okay i just want to let you know that the tone is going to change very quickly okay? oh we might have so, this might be where we skip the do? question got it everybody hold on tight we might have a little turbulence here <laughs> You're gonna be able to do it. It's gonna get personal right after this. What's with the hand holding? Have you ever sent for two side if you want to go home with twenty five thousand dollars? If you've already Thanks. Or if you want to answer four more questions truthfully for a chance to win one hundred thousand dollars before we went to commercial break, you said, "I want to go for it." Have you changed your mind? No, I haven't. No, okay. I'm ready. To Christy, we're getting along okay, aren't we? Yeah, I'd say so. so. I want you to look at it. All right. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, the questions are going to get hard. <laughs> okay, Mark. So, Thanks, Mark. Christy, what Thanks, Mark Wahlberg. Like with your father? Oh. Well, my dad and I have been doing some work for him for the past year, and this past year has been going actually really well. Um, I, he has his own office, and, and I'm planning on going into the medical field, too, so it's definitely exposed me to a lot of the medical field profession. And so, is he a doctor? Yeah, he is. He's a doctor, yeah. Gastroenterologist. Question 12. Do you believe your oh. father Whoa. used money to control you? That is a shocking question. That, is, that one's pretty deep. That's that like a. a personal question. Um. This is pretty dark. Yeah. Oh that no! Is... Aww. Uh, that's just. Aww. I mean, at least people know about her, her dad being shitty now. I yeah. guess. The one silver lining. That's a conversation you gotta have. Yeah. No. You can stop at any time. You have twenty-five thousand dollars. No, their her parents aren't together. So it seemed like a sore spot for the mom, but she's not totally against that answer getting yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Yep. Shall we go on? Yeah. Keep going. I want to keep going. Okay. Just mentioned that uh, your father and your mother are divorced. Mm -hmm. um, would your parents divorce hard on you? Dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was difficult. It was difficult. I mean, yeah, what are you going to say? Yeah. Time of my life, actually. <laughs> Do you blame your father? Oh my gosh. Oh Jesus! <laughs> so heavy. Jesus. Also, tearing your family apart. You yeah. That's not what divorce is. You fucking asshole. Yeah. But I believe that one person might necessarily play a larger role than the other. Please don't be your mom. Good. Cool. I feel like she had a fairly, even though she answered yes, like she gave a fair, like, yeah, you know, preamble to the to the question, which is to say, like, hey, you know, it's like not one person's responsibility for tearing a family apart. Yeah. Also, did you see that quick like bit of communication with her and her mom? I like that a lot. Oh. Her mom did just like a kind of like like kind of mwah motion, and she did the same thing back. All you gotta do is say the word and I'll stop. <laughs> My chance saying Cole like broke their family you. apart. <laughs> oh no, Cole. <laughs> do you think, I like to imagine like, Cole had a huge part in the episode. They cut out literally everything he was in. <laughs> and, like every time before she answers, she's like, I couldn't have done any of this without Cole. And they yeah, just cut and to just like a give weird a reaction. Shout out to Cole. <laughs> My guy, Cole, the guy, he does he everything. Oh, he's been sitting here awkwardly for so long. When dad tore our family apart, Cole was there to glue it back together. <laughs> I mean, they have to be a really strong Christian. Like I said, like we had mentioned earlier, I have a lot of really um, conservative beliefs. And, and so you're an old-fashioned girl. I am. I'm an old-fashioned girl. Question 14. Oh, Jesus. Are you still in love with your ex fiance? Okay. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that one. Okay. Um, yes, I was. 
<laughs> as most people in my life do know. Um, wait, some time has passed now. Wait, somebody said she's, she's 21? She's 22, yeah. This is too... She hasn't had enough time to process things. Yeah. <laughs> it's not been a long time. It's only 10 months. Give her some time. Also, even if she answers, what, regardless of what she answers, I think it's okay to like still love someone and not be together or love someone and like recognize that like there are issues in the yeah. relationship and it like can't work or whatever. So I don't, it's not really a gotcha thing. You know what I mean? Also, they're clearly on this shot cutting to like a ring she's wearing. Like yeah. she's still wearing on her, her engagement ring. <laughs> Look, like, what the she's fuck, got man? a she's got a ring on, but it's not that one. Yeah, it's Jesus. an index finger ring. Um, Teddy was very very special to me. I am. I am. I am. Still Nothing still. wrong with that. Yeah. Ever, I, I think for the most part, people just feel bad. Yeah. The audience reaction is so weird. True. Yeah. Literally, somebody in my chat was trying to figure out what Cole's deal was. And then everybody's uh, just like, Cole is just some guy. Cole is just a dude. Oh, Cole is just some <laughs> random guy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they fix someone out of the okay, audience. They're like, you, Cole. Yeah. Cool answer. No, I, I need a Cole answer. I really Dude, I need Cole to get some sort of moment. You can keep your twenty-five thousand dollars. I mean, I just see the tip of that pyramid. One more question. Don't let the visualization fool you. <laughs> oh, he had a line. Cole said Cole something. Cole said something. Med school is paid for. One more in med school is paid for. And you're an honest woman. Wait, no, She's literally really though, li li it's like, thank you, but we do not know each other. <laughs> could yeah, you thank you, but I don't need your help. Cole was all I <laughs> yeah, needed there. Could you, could we, could we actually like, can I get a response from my mom and Cole, please, <laughs> about this? <laughs> also, does it pay for med school? I feel like med schools, I feel like people get out of med school with like hundreds of dollars or hundreds of dollars dude yeah. med school can cost hundreds of dollars dude, like 600 bucks like 600 to 700 dollars but no like hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah so it's like i mean she might need to win more of the game to fully do it. yeah i'm gonna keep going all right get back to the pageant stuff for a minute <laughs> oh no incredibly she doesn't need to be there a lot of pressure to, to look good when you compete in the pageant. It takes a lot of focus and dedication. What kind of question is that? So yes. It, there's definitely that beauty aspect of it, no matter how much scars and money you can earn. Wait, hang on. Somebody in my chat. Scars, honey. What do they say? Only hundreds, not a quarter million. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, well, yeah, what, but she's going for a hundred thousand. hundred k. Right now. And also, yeah, like, singular. out of state tuition at a lot of college, just undergrad education, out of state tuition can be like thirty k. So yeah. it's like, and you go to college for four years, that's already more than 100 Yeah, it's definitely obviously like risen a ton since 2008, but it also like was bad then. As yeah, well. yeah, like yeah. It was not... I mean, like so. when I, w I went to college in 2010, uh -huh. uh, and it's so, like, like it you would know. <laughs> yeah. This is your dollar moment of truth. Yeah, med school is like 60 to 70K a year. How many years are you yeah. in med school? I actually don't know how many years you're in med school. I think four, right? Are, yeah, is it four? Because that's a lot. Actually, of... I don't I don't know fully, which I should know because I have friends that, that are in it. That like is four. three. Somebody said four. Okay, so somewhere in between. Okay, yeah. So more than 100K, it seems like. At what's the yeah. average cost of med school? Somebody Google it. Um, okay. Okay, I don't like this. Uh, Were you about to skip? Yep, uh, we skip. We skip what the, the fuck, zone. man. Okay. Have you ever taken a nude picture? Wow, dude. Oh, fuck? Dude, hold on. I just 360 no skip to the next question. That, that was, was incredible. incredible. Was like nothing <laughs> happened. It was really like nothing happened. But then this new question is like, is also why bad. Why is it Ever taken a photo of yourself? Yeah, dude, naked? yeah. Wait, everybody chill out. Funny? Yeah, that's. Oh no, not a nude photograph. Oh my god. Somebody said, I wish all the producers of the show a very shut the fuck up, which I kind of agree. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree with that sentiment. Welcome back to the moment of truth. We're here with Clifty Youssef. 
you've got $25,000 right now, all you need is one more people. Okay, the results are in. Uh, the average cost of medical school for four years, according to a random uh, Twitch chat user named Alex, is 250k. Well, there you go. I there just know that go. a lot of people graduate with like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, that. So, absolutely, like, they do. Yeah. Okay. Just before the break, we asked you as an adult. As an adult, thank God. Nude picture. Of oh himself. my God. I mean, like, what? I mean. Why not? <laughs> is yeah. my question. Live a little. No. <laughs> it's what? it can be a private photo. I feel like it's a bad answer to to be like no <laughs> no of course not. I've never taken one. Have you ever looked in the mirror after you got out of the shower? <laughs> I would never do such a I thing. I would never ever do something America. Like that. True. All right. I mean, I think that, like, if she under... I mean, like, it's fine. Whatever. We don't have to get yeah. into this one. <laughs> Christy Youssef, you have just earned $100,000. That's a, that's a big chunk of change. I know we were talking yeah. about, like, med school, but it, regardless, it's a very yeah. significant amount of money. So this is That's yeah great. somebody said mark please stop touching her hands this is something anytime you watch an old season of reality oh tv God. you will frequently just for any guy on the show just have the thought in your head to just eh, don't touch her dude that's like all the time in every show you're like ah, don't come on there's that guy i don't know what show it oh it's so gross but it's like that it's an old game show host who like used to kiss every contestant uh, and so then it like it was like this guy has kissed thousands of women. It's so gross, dude. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, oh man. God. Also, I got one oh, more family question to me, and then I gotta go for a run. Wait, oh, was for this, sure. Wait, it was, was the was old Steve Harvey or, or no, before? no, no. It was the. I think it was maybe Richard Dawson. Okay. It was an old. Just kissed everyone on the mouth. Yeah, I don't know if it was on the mouth or not. I don't know if it was on the mouth or not. Either way, you don't yeah. have to kiss everyone on Family yeah. Feud. <laughs> Uh, right. Someone highlighted a message that cold just broke into my house. Help. Okay. <laughs> Cole wants to say something. Could be your money forever if you leave. Yes. Okay. One hundred thousand dollars right now to get to two hundred. He kissed everyone's <laughs> lips. No. Only three. No. Not everyone, it was only cis women. Richard Dawson, get out of town. <laughs> Cole! Did Cole chime in? Yeah, he said do it. Cole, come on. You're good. Think of her future. Okay. Okay. Cole's like, do more, I haven't been asked about once. Yeah. She's gonna do it. I'm gonna play it safe. Good for oh. you. Maybe that's a good. Maybe that's a good yeah. like out. Just so we don't start a new uh, yeah. person. But Eddie, thanks so much for for popping in yeah, last minute. Yeah, of course. I wanted to stream longer, and I didn't have anything to do, so this was perfect. I had a ton of fun. What a nice um, little treat. I also actually, instead of, uh, or I'm gonna sp speak to my chat for a second, but um, uh, for anyone that are, are you still watching more a moment of yeah, truth? Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep on going. All right. Well, then every uh, I will be rating you in a minute. So okay. Well, thank you. Everybody, say thanks to Eddie for for popping by.